What are you cooking today, Miss Martha? Well, I'm not doing the picnic sides yet because, I, I, I you know, that, that's the right bunch of food. And I'm going to do that closer to the weekend when I've got some company coming over so everybody can enjoy it. I'm just doing a simple little one skillet dish for dinner tonight. And it's going to be chicken gizzards and broccoli. You may think that's an odd combo, but they go together quite well. I've got two pounds of fresh chicken gizzards. I'm going to rinse those off and pat those dry. And we'll just put a little salt and pepper on those and set those aside. I've got a skillet because it's a one skillet meal simple easy no mess no not much cleanup i'll put a little bit of the olive oil cooking olive oil in that maybe about half inch that's going to go over there because we're going to fry the gizzards off in that but got to make our batter for them first got one egg one third cup milk we're going to take the seasoned gizzards run them through the milk wash and then we're going to dip them through our seasoned flour which consists of i have a little biscuit packet here of cheesy garlic and I'm going to use one third cup all purpose flour. You need, you need self rising flour though when you're using uh, frying your chicken or, or pork chops or anything because otherwise your breading is just going to fall right off of it. So I'm going to have to add one half tablespoon of baking powder to this all purpose flour so it becomes self rising flour. And the spice that goes best with fried chicken, sage. So a little bit of sage in that. So we'll go the chicken through the egg wash. Do the breading and set that aside. Turn the heat on the skillet until it gets up to high heat. Fry my gizzards off for about 10 to 15 minutes. Remove them from the pan and we're going to make the sauce or the gravy. It's going to be a can of chicken broccoli soup. One tablespoon of herbed bouillon. And one stick of plant-based butter. You can use regular uh, margarine, but I've got so much of this from all my vegan bacon in the refrigerator. I want to use this up before, before they expire. So... We've, we've fried the chicken off, we've taken it out of the skillet, we've made our gravy, we're going to put the chicken back into the gravy, and we're going to sprinkle on top of it some fresh broccoli. I, I've got three heads over here that I picked up at the market today, but we're only going to use about one and a half. We're going to break them apart into little tree trunks, and we're going to put those on top, turn the heat off, put the lid on, and it's done. So, we'll, I'll... Let me do a little bit of prep work here and I'll meet you over there. I could probably just let the camera run because it's such a fast little prep work here. We don't have to worry about that, but I'm going to meet you over at the skillet in just a minute. Go get yourself a cup of coffee and we'll pick back up. This is a great meal for aging people such as myself that are over 60 because of the vitamin K and the selenium and all the minerals that are in your broccoli and in your gizzards, the iron, B12s. It's going to boost everything from preventing you from getting cataracts, osteoporosis, lower your cholesterol, manage your cholesterol circulatory system, and stave off osteoporosis and diabetes. So it's just about everything that you think you're going to start falling apart as you're aging. This dish will help you feel great. See you in a minute. Well, before we move over to the frying pan, I thought maybe you might not have ever worked with gizzards before. I wanted to show you something here. When you're, when you're working with your gizzard, if you've got any that's got that little hard little yellow part on it, you've got to peel that part off of it. You know, your gizzard is the stomach of the little birds. And they have a little grit in their stomach. This is a little sack. So this is the meat part. This is the part you're going to eat. This part, you can't eat this part. And wash my hands better and we'll pick back up all right just to, to bread our gizzards we're just going we're going to go through our little egg wash into the flour and keep me a dry hand onto the plate egg wash flour just coat it well onto the plate okay i've got all these others to do i've got two pounds of gizzards to do and then we'll pick back up over at the stove. Okay, we're over here at the stove. We're going to be putting our, our breaded gizzards into our olive oil in just a minute. Almost smells hot enough. Old cooks like me, we don't have to use thermometers and whatnot. Put these in. We're going to fry these off about 10 minutes to 15 minutes because they're small little pieces of chicken. And they're going to cook more once they're in the gravy. Save time on my video. Don't crowd your pan. If you have to do two pans worth, do two pans worth. Not time to flip them yet. All right, that's about three minutes in. As you can see, I'm turning them over to fry the other side. Can you see? Look how pretty they look. 
back in the olden days, they, the butcher used to package it up and you had chicken gizzards and hearts. My mother's favorite part was a little heart. Ugh. I could manage eating the gizzard, but I didn't want to eat the little chicken's heart. So that was her favorite, but now they keep them separate. The chicken livers, chicken gizzards. I like see chicken hearts. When you do your second pan, you might have to add more oil because it does soak up right much of the grease into the breading. Okay, then it's going to need about three or four more minutes on the other side. And then I've got the other pans worth to do. And we'll pick back up then when I've removed all of the chicken has been fried and removed. And then we're going to add in our gravy mix. And then we'll put the chicken back in and we'll add fresh broccoli on top. So easy peasy. Very nutritious. You might not think so because it's fried food, but you make up for it with all the vitamins and nutrients that are in what we're frying today. So I'll see you in just a minute. First batch is out, second batch is in, and this marker just can't resist. You know, this is one of my mama's favorite. She loves chicken gizzards. Mother's Day's coming up. This one's for you, Mom. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can't talk right now. Gotta turn the chicken. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Don't think of it as unhealthy fried food. You know, Miss, Miss Martha tries to cook a lot of vegan food, show you alternatives to being healthy. You could suppose you have some chicken gizzards every now and then fried. I fried them in olive oil, and they're full of nutrients. Okay. We let these fish fry off on the other side for about five minutes or so. So the pink is turned gray on the chicken. Then we'll remove this batch, put it over here, and we'll add in our little broccoli soup, herb bouillon base, plant-based butter, you can use whatever margarine butter you have. Make that into a gravy, then add our broccoli. So we'll pick back up in a minute. Yeah, I'm eating another one, don't tell on me. Oh my god, it looks good. These are almost ready to come out. I hear somebody at the door. I swear my husband's got smell vision on the job side. He can tell when I'm cooking. Take these out and leave the grease in the pan and add our other ingredients in. I'll be right back. All right, let's keep the pan off of the burner to add our ingredients to it so you won't, so everything won't splatter all over you. One can of cream of broccoli soup. Add in our plant based butter. Gonna go over about a third cup of milk. I'll put that back in the right now. And we're gonna do. Bouillon. Get that all stirred up. We'll put it back over to the burner. Okay, we've got our gravy made up. We've got to put our chicken back in. Okay, just dump it in there. You'll splash it all over yourself. So take a minute though. I save time on my video. Okay, your chicken's back in. You can basically turn it off at this point because my husband wants his broccoli fresh, he doesn't want it soggy and mushy. 
trim your broccoli on top. So the steam coming off of it, we finish cooking that. And we're ready. That'll be out of the way. Come on, please. Okay. Chicken gizzards and broccoli full of selenium, vitamin K, iron, vitamin B, vitamin C, calcium. It works against cataracts, works against heart disease, works against high cholesterol, lowers your blood pressure, manages diabetes, helps with restless leg syndrome, good for your joints and mobility, and it tastes great. Thank you for watching. The full uh, items, the description, and the direction for the recipe will be on my digital cookbook page, Miss Martha Loves to Cook, over on YouTube. God bless you. I hope you'll make this dish for your family soon. Man, I got to get back to my little experimental stage of where I'm working on my handheld macaroni, and my handheld baked beans, and my handheld potato salad. That's my big video that's coming up. This was just this was just dinner. My husband says, "I want some fried chicken." I'm like, "Well, I got to make it healthy." So. He's excited. I heard him coming up. He drove up. He'll be in just a minute to eat. So uh, well, we'll catch you on the flip side. And we're now cut a few little roses from the flower bed to bring in because it's almost Mother's Day. So, you know, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and your mother figures that you have in life. Let's look how beautiful the dish is when he finished it. Whew, put the lid somewhere. It's heavy. Fantastic, isn't it? All right. I'll see you soon.